Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I am going to show you how to check object in Creo by model check. I will explain to you details regarding the datum planes, layers, parameters, naming and so on. But first of all, I'd like to thank you to Joe for the coffees and donation. Thank you one more time. We will start from scratch and I'd like to explain to you how it's possible to set up the model check. So what is necessary to do is to prepare in config profile the two options, maybe three. The first option is that you need to set up the model check underscore directory. So you can set your custom path to configuration for model check. The default configuration of model check is included in Creo installation but I'd like to use my custom one. And then with model check it's possible to show the new UI so I have placed two additional model check show new config UI to yes and model check show new report UI again to yes. So let's start how it works. I will create new 3D model and I don't want to use the template so we will create directly from the scratch some 3D model and I will specify the empty 3D model. You remember that we have been spoken in previous tutorials how to drive the templates. If I will start the tem empty 3D model what does it mean? If you will see in the model tree doesn't exist any datum planes or datum feature for coordinate system and datum planes and if I will open the layer tree again it's not set up. And you know that you would like to create the geometry so for example you will create new planes and the system will create dt123 because it's a default yes so if I will switch on and in the view tab I would like to see the description of the node or tags so you can see right now that system show me everything but it and again if I will jump right now in the layers you can see that based on the custom configuration for Creo the system creates automatically the layer 0.4 underscore plane you have been watching the tutorials regarding the configuration of the layers by config pro in the last video tutorials but I'd like to focus on the model check and what does it mean I will go back to model tree and for example right now we need to check the naming of the datum planes or we need to check the relation parameters name of models and so on so what does it mean you can run model check if you will select file prepare and you have two options interactive and regenerate the system can automatically regenerate the model and apply the preferences or run the interactively directly yes so I will run the interactive model check report and you can see right now that system really quickly show me a couple of warnings and it's possible to see the datum feature are not set up in the layer and in the warning tab again I can see the for example the accuracy or the additional features yeah what does it mean the system right now check everything regarding the model properties and units because in my configuration for model check I specify millimeter so first of all I will check two millimeter because I like to show you how the system works so only come from OK and close right now I have a millimeter and if I will run model check one more time you see that I have more warnings and errors as before and how it's driven I will show you and explain right now you can see that based on the model check configuration for units millimeter the system will automatically show me more errors or warnings so for example I miss some relation yeah so I can select and add this relation you can see the relation has been added and I can check yes okay relations are here what about the parameters right now the parameters are not reported as I need so for example missing parameters I have prepared some Facebook 
and males and so on. So if I will select, you can see the simply the selection and adding the parameters, you can directly add the additional parameters and so on. I can continue missing layers. So for example, I have specified a couple of layers. I can select all of them and plus. What does it mean? The system automatically add the missing layers into layer tree. And so you can continue. So for example, you can click for the errors. You can jump in the warning. And for example, you see that my model name is not specified as I need based on the list from the model name. So you can see right now the couple of examples how it works and maybe I can add more information to this checking because for example based on this information I will run model check one more time so you can create a map key and you can see the layer status so it's possible to automatically add objects or warning and datum rename specification and again you can select here yeah, I will show you how it works Right now DTM 123 and I would like to rename so the system will automatically and quickly rename the datum features. If you will create new datum plane for example and this datum plane in future I'd like to use for the section BB for example so I will set name of the datum plane BB. OK. What does it mean? The system will create the datum plane here and directly in the layer tree the everything is mentioned in the plane because it's a datum plane but I'd like to automatically recognize that this datum plane has to be placed in the section plane or if I will create a reference plane or some curve the system need to automatically place this feature for me so for example I will create again some reference plane and the reference plane will be A B C D and so on okay yeah, and right now I'd like to manage it automatically by model check. So run model check again, layer place, and you can see that system can automatically recognize how to place the object in the layer and everything is specified correctly. Everything is hidden as I need and the datum planes are in the section plane or reference plane or if you will create curve points or anything you can define by model check and the system will automatically recognize what is behind our information so for example the system count the overall size what does it mean if you will create some shape doesn't matter right now really quickly and I will specify the shape like this you remember some values yeah and for example this one will be 222 because we would like to see directly so I will finish I will run model check again and in the information tab you can see model overall size and so on so over here has been example how it possible to works and manage the object by model check Please stay tuned, follow my tutorial and in the next video tutorial I will explain the details how the system read this configuration file for model check. Thank you for your donation and likes and bye bye. Vladimir.